Good morning, folks. You're watching a gorgeous plasma filament dance on the northwestern limb of our star. We've got a number of cool stories to hit today, but we are starting at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last day once again without eruptive behavior, but she's not exactly looking like a clear blank disk anymore either. One of those sizable plasma filaments is central longitudes at the north polar crown. Quickly looking at the solar wind shows us she's all quiet too, decreasing intensity this morning even further into that quiet territory geomagnetically. Up first in the news, it's tornadoes. A simple pattern is going to help them determine if a tornado is coming and it's all about rain droplet size. When there is ongoing small droplets of rain in a potentially tornadic storm and a separate patch of larger rain droplets, their orientation is everything. If they are lined up parallel to the direction of motion, such that you'd get hit by one and then the other, we don't expect tornadoes. But if they are not in a line with their direction of motion, if one is coming at you and the other is right next to it side by side such that it would miss you, then they are oriented perpendicular to their direction of motion and then they expect tornadoes. They found the connection to be tremendous. Let's have an aesthetic piece of fun heading out to space. This is M87 via Chandra, Hubble, and numerous radio telescopes. She's one of the most studied galaxies there is, and today we're getting a less pretty, but equally if not more telling study that shows where the galactic magnetic field interacts with the cosmic jet. The polarization lobes in darker color here show where the light is being twisted by the magnetic fields that are helping to generate that cosmic jet. Up next, speaking of galaxies, we have a story about what happens when they add cosmic rays to the outflow evolution models. It may seem silly, but these models often omit things like cosmic rays because the modeling becomes a hundred times harder. But they did it here, showing how the addition of cosmic rays does stifle that outflow. And last but not least, star bursting region, with gas velocity tracked via its radio emission. Folks, they have an animation that lays the various velocity ranges on top of one another, revealing pieces of the flow at a time. But in the middle of this, you can clearly pick out the straight line filamentations of the plasma. There are connections all over this region, and these are even further of interest because they appear to be radially produced from the core of the star formation. Let your imagination see the web and its central node. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got special videos we're working hard on here behind the scenes. Be sure you are subscribed and click the notification bell so you don't miss the specials or these daily gauntlets of science. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.